You're in a Chuck E. Cheese. Robots are trying to kill you. You're a small man driving a screw through some bugs. They're both on opposite sides of the spectrum. You're no bigger than a paperclip. <laughs> it's now hitting me how fast eight seconds is. This is way so harder than I think. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, all passengers, scan your tickets, tickets to ride. Come join this new train on the Story Dive train today. We're doing a new episode. Welcome back. It's good to have you. Take a seat. Take a seat. Everyone, sit down. Sit down. I, I said sit down. Yeah, that's okay. That's fine. I'll sit right. down. Fine. Yeah, you can sit down. Uh, not you. You're helping me take the tickets. Oh, I, I need you here. Okay, I'm I'm back up. Hey, what about the stowaways? Are they? <laughs> I've. Uh... Uh, <laughs> if they, for every like and subscribe we get, one more stowaway can be allowed oh, on this train. Man. I mean, and I'll I, take that. I play cards. That's with the them deal. In the back. Every now and then, I go in the back and play cards with them. So I'll I'll let them know. Did Did you win? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I uh, bet all my doubloons. And I doubled them, and now I have five doubloons. Nice job. How did you double something into five doubloons? Did you have two and a half doubloons before? Uh, yeah, you'll understand later <laughs> when you're when you're older. <laughs> okay, yeah. So tell me after. Tell me after. But in the meantime, uh, you've heard it here. I, I am your host for the evening or the morning, whichever time of day you decide it is. Ooh, uh, my name is Kai. I am joined listeners. here by my train captain. Is there a train second in command name? What is uh, that? The, the sub, the subterfuge, the, the subterfuge. The, this the, is the mini, Logan, the, the, the second mini, in command, the mini engineer. What, what's the main guy called? He's not a captain. Is he? He's a, a conductor conductor. Yeah. So I'd be a, uh, I don't know. It's yeah. literally called a second man. So really? I'm joined here by Woo! a second man, my railway employee working for Heck beans yeah. and doubloons. Logan, welcome back, Logan. Thank you. Uh, how it's you doing? Good to be here. It's good to be here. I'm doing really good. I'm uh, still standing. I'm gonna sit down now. Um, it's good to be here, man. I'm. Oh yeah, I'm yeah. Take your seat. Take your seat. I want to. I want to talk about stories, Kai. I, awesome. That's why well, I'm here, dude. Excellent. We have an awesome, awesome banger of a title today. Title? Uh, a banger of a... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Story? Of, uh, a, a topic. Topic, yes. Topic. Yes. What are we talking about today? We got a great topic. It'll actually knock your socks off. For real, for real. Um, as the young youngins say... But before we get to that, Logan, uh, I think it's time for that time we all know on the story I've trained as story of the week. Story of the week, eh? Well, guess what, Kai? In the last episode, you never gave me one. You never gave me a story of the week. So I'm spinning this back on you. You have to finish what you oh. started. You said to come back later. I'm coming back later, right now. So you're telling us the story of the week today. Well. Better late than never. <laughs> you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have okay. a story yeah, for us? Yeah, I've got a story for you. Oh, snap. Oh, yeah. okay. so, yes, I have a story for you. All right. All right, let's see. I okay. didn't think my assertiveness yes, would work I, so you... easily. I'm a pushover. <laughs> oh, hey, um, no, no, that's that's not what I was getting <laughs> at. Hey, hey, hey. We're all friends okay, here. Okay, story time, story time. Okay, story sit time. Sit down, ready. buckle down, strap mm. in, because it's a doozy. I'm going to sit harder. It's not, well, okay. Yeah, scooch those cheeks into those seats. Oh, yeah, dude. Um, <laughs> okay, so <laughs> okay, some, yeah, some totally pretense sorry. to this. It's, a, it's another gym story. I feel like I tell a lot of gym stories, but I think it's also just because I, I, it's a big piece of my life right now well, where was I, this, I go to the gym often. Was this in Hawaii as well, or is this more recent? No, this is this actually was this morning. Oh dang! Okay, <laughs> so, we it's got that re, it's really recent. Um, it's got that freshness to it. Yeah, it's it's super recent. So, some pretext. 
Um, my wife's birthday is coming up in a couple months, and mm. she has a goal to walk 600,000 steps before her birthday. Whoa. Um, That's crazy. Yeah, pretty, pretty lofty goal. I mean, wait, wait. And how many, uh, day, I think how many the, days? Her wait. math is something. <laughs> how many days until her birthday? So she has about 60 days. Oh, okay. So you said 600,000? So, so like she's a, got some time. Like a thousand a day, yeah. right? Wait, you basically no. have to do Wait. ten thousand steps a day. Ten thousand. Okay, that's I mean, yeah. it's definitely doable. But it's like one of those things where if you like miss a couple of days, like that's gonna be hard to make up. But it I, can very easily get out of control. But I, totally I was, doable. I'm very down to support her with it. Yeah, it's totally a doable goal. I feel like it's a good yeah. goal to have, honestly. So, um. Well, yeah, so she has a fitness goal. I thought it was wise that I should set a fitness goal as well. Um, so my goal is to be able to, since our birthdays are really close to each other, it's a similar time frame. But I want to be able to bench 160 by the time I it, my birthday happens. Wait, and For reference right now, my top is 135. So Okay, and your birthday is it's, when? I mean, it's in May. It's in May. So, okay, so it's coming up. Okay, I see. All right. It's coming up. So it it's doable, but it's going to take like a more asserted, consecrated effort to, to make it happen, right? Yeah, dude. Wow. Um, okay, so 135 so currently. Under that, guys. Yeah. Um, under that context, we... Sally wants to go to uh, the gym... She, she had the idea to go early, like earlier than her shift. So mm -hmm. I got my butt out of bed at 5.30 in the morning today oh, to go man. to the gym. Um, which, it's funny because I'm sure a lot of gym people, especially after my my experience with it, I'm sure a lot of people will be like, wuss, you wake up at 5.30? That's so late. You got to be getting up at you Dude, I mean, but to make we're it like, happen. we're gamers, bro. It's different. <laughs> like, I'm, it's, in, I'm in the realm of a little people, different. I'm in the realm of people who wake up at noon and that there is a whole section of the world who does that. Um, so I, to me, it's, it's super admirable for you to wake up that early. Um, but yeah, there are people out there that are like, Oh, four o'clock in the morning time to get up and get my gains. in. it's like, bro, go to bed, man. Yeah, it's too early for me. That's well, those are the deep dark times. To of be, the day. <laughs> gosh, to be fair, um, I didn't wake up at five thirty necessarily on purpose. I had heartburn and allergies, so oh, that's snap, kind of what man. got me up. And yeah, I said, that's, uh, that's "While I'm up, I gotta, gotta I, get those games." I'll go. Yeah, yeah. I went. Sneezing and crying all the way to the gym oh, no. at five thirty in the morning. Oh man, dude, sounds like um, an emotional roller coaster of the morning. Well, so we we I go to the gym pretty often, at least two or three ish times a week, sometimes three or more. I I, I try to go pretty often yes. hey, to get a consistent exercise. Hey, it's all it's not about like it's not like it, it's the fact that you're going at all. It's amazing. All right, so. Yeah, that's, seriously. That's awesome. Well, so uh, we went to the a local rec center, which it's it's a rec center. It's got a pool and it does have a gym, and it's but I think it's most of its like appeal, at least in my understanding of a rec center, most of the appeal is in the activities you do, not necessarily the gym you go to. Um, but right. I'm curious in this instance, you're getting up at 5 30. Who do you expect to see at the gym? Gym people, <laughs> like people that are, I mean, like, like that are like going every day. It's like their life, I feel like. Okay, so very dedicated individuals, yes. Because, like, in order to get okay. up that early in the morning, you like got to be dedicated. Like if you're going to the gym, like that's, how, that's that's what I think. How okay? So follow up question to that: How saturated do you think the gym is? Mm, moderate, because I I went to the gym once at like six a.m. like last year, um, and 
there was a decent amount of people there. It was, it wasn't like crowded, but I would say like it was getting there. It, it was it, everything. It, there was a lot of people I would say. Okay. Is that, yeah. Take is, that and put it on steroids. And really? That was what I walked into. Well, I didn't go to a rec it center. I went to like a gym you need a membership for. So maybe that's different. I mean, you need a membership for the rec center. So I don't know. Um, yeah. Right. Maybe maybe the, well, the rec center okay. is just like in a spot that's like really popular. I mean, I was expecting um, some people, but it's 530 in the morning in a local suburban town. I didn't think there would be that many people there. And especially because me and Sally go after work, um, and there's a pretty decent amount. It it gets pretty crowded. Sometimes I have to like wait for machines, and or the machine I wanted isn't even going to be open because there's a queue for like an Odin spoken queue for two people. Right but here, dude. I did you not? There were six different classes going on in the facility. Uh, there was like classes? water aerobics, and then yeah, classes. So like there was a water aerobics oh, class. There was a uh, some other swimming class, some treading water class. There was a spin class, which is kind of like Zumba, if I think of it right. But then there was also a Zumba class. And then there was a biking, like a Peloton biking course kind of class where like you're biking and then there's a biking coach in wow. front of you being like, you can do it. Two, three, four. You know, I don't really know why you necessarily have a coach for that. Maybe I need to try that. To really get a full understanding of the experience. Regardless, not a single machine was open. Wow. Not one machine. There was zero openings on anything. I, wow. I I walked a couple laps before barely I was able to secure a biking machine. Uh this is 5 30 in the morning. Why is it the most congested place I've <laughs> ever seen? And also, the other thing that was happening is every single one of these classes have these giant like amp speakers that they plug their phone into that you know when you're doing zumba you want to like play yeah. play loud music yeah yeah obviously yeah. well in in this case it's all six of those groups playing this a different loud music oh, no. and turning it up to max volume because they want their class to hear their music but then to the people who are just working out on the second floor we can hear all of it every single one of those songs so i'm hearing like six different full volume songs and i had a podcast in my ear and noise canceling headphones on and i still couldn't hear my podcast oh because my of all, how loud it was i was flabbergasted by this and it was so interesting because that's loud right that's pretty loud i honestly thought i walked into a club for a second oh my you know, <laughs> yeah if people have yeah. experiences with a club, <laughs> I, I don't personally, but that's what I imagine it would feel like with with how loud it was. I've experienced the, the club music, uh, like just how loud it is. It is absurd how loud that music is, where you literally can't talk to the person next to you because it's so loud. It's like, it's why? so loud. Who enjoys this? I mean, being at a concert, I'm okay with it, but clubs are, I don't know. It's like a, a few people don't go to clubs for the specific music. They just want a, a beat to dance to so they can socialize. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know too much about that, that lifestyle, but having, if, if there was more than one song playing, like conflicting with each other, like that, that would, that would be it for me, dude. I'd be gone. So the fact that you had to deal with like six different yeah. songs, dude, that's crazy. Okay, but that's not even the end. This is kind of where the, the <laughs> climax of it was, where I just had to be like, I can't. What in the world? I don't know if I can ever come back to this. In the Zumba class, the the instructor, honestly, kudos for having the skill, but also it's abhorrent, and I hate it. Um, as she was doing her stuff, aerobics is not for the faint of heart it's it's a whole lot of jump kicking and like knee to elbow you're jumping a lot pretty much the whole time uh because it's supposed to be like high cardio burn yeah this girl every single beat was like woo, 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 
woo, every single beat for the whole time I was sitting there over and over again. She would she would make that noise. And I thought, how can I hear you over the six other songs? Like, how hard do you have to be projecting your voice to make it so that I can hear it over everything else? Baffling to me. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Um, dude, it, that that sounds so overwhelming. Like, like, so how far did you get into your your workout? Like, how <laughs> how long did you last in this environment? <laughs> I lasted about 40 minutes was kind of what we had expected. Oh, we usually try and do 30 minutes to an hour, depending on how we're feeling. Dude, and after about 40 minutes, uh, my wife came to me and she was like, I'm not feeling good. I have kind of a headache. We need to go. So I'm like, okay, I'm not, I won't say no to that. Let's yeah. get out of here. Yeah. That's, that's crazy that, uh, I didn't know if you were going to be the one to be like, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> So the fact that you were, you were able to kind of just like put up with it, it's crazy. Um, well, I mean, I put up with it, but I, I was definitely baffled and flabbergasted and kind of not really offended, but just like part of me was like, how dare you all do this to my <laughs> workout? My sacred workout right. has been I mean, sullied by such horrendous music. It's like one thing to be busy, but it's another thing to have like the entire environment be so chaotic and overwhelming. That's what it sounds like. Just like, yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, uh, for for me, I probably would have driven me crazy. I think after like five, ten minutes, I think I would have called it just from what you told me. So, yeah, but, <laughs> well, uh, power, more power to you. Like, well, I mean, I it shows how dedicated you are to the grind, bro. So I respect it. Well. <laughs> I definitely didn't feel super good afterward, but regardless, you still did it. You can't say you didn't go to the gym today. You still went. You still that's true. I it. tried it. I tried to do that early bird eats that worm. Did I it's get the hard. gains? That it's, is tough stuff, man. I realized I tried to do that uh, last year. Like I said, I, I went to the gym with these guys who invited me, um, and I I showed up at six a.m. and it was it was a great experience. But it destroyed me. And I, I had this realization that I was like, if I want to actually make this a part of my life, like I have to sacrifice a lot. Cause to wake up that early means to go to bed early. And it just it changes everything. Um, so at this at the point I'm at in my life right now, uh, because you know, I'm I'm working on my sleep and my my sleep schedule. And I I'm like, maybe one day I'll be a morning person. Maybe one day I'll figure it out and I'll be a morning person. But to do that right now would, would really mean like, cause a lot, a lot, especially on the weekends and what I like to do in my free time, uh, it would mean I, I'd get home from work and I'd go to bed at like eight or 9 PM. Like I don't, I would only have like an hour or two after work or something. Um, and I, just, it, it, yeah, so I, I respect all the people that are willing to do that. Um, cause it's, I feel like waking up early is, is a very, it's hard to do. I mean, maybe, maybe that's just coming from someone who, has never been able to do that. Um, but it's mm. crazy. It's crazy because you said so many people were there. Like that's how many people are waking up that early. They're, like it's so it's crazy. It's to me, not man. just so many people, it's, it's like max capacity amount of people. And every single one of them went so hard. The people at night, they work hard. They definitely do. And and they're the people that go hard. And I, I'm one of those people that you just you push yourself and you're not necessarily allowed about it, you're courteous about it. Man, these people were going so hard. Everyone is like, yeah, it's everyone's like in this unspoken competition to work harder than the person next to them, <laughs> yeah. and that's some yeah. pressure. I was just like, dude, yeah. I, I'm gonna lose every battle. Yeah, it's anyway. Maybe so, that's what I need. Uh, I hope uh, that competition for for, uh, for working out. Anyways, that's that. I was well, a good story, Kai. Uh, Thanks maybe. for. <laughs> thanks for sharing your story of the week uh i promise I'll... i really hope i hooked you with that one maybe, maybe, i really hope it maybe, hooked your interest maybe next week we can do some kind of a a double thing to even it out because uh because otherwise uh, otherwise we're, we're gonna get off balance with this whole story of the week thing um indeed oh. you better not play hooky on me for the <laughs> next time maybe i will you know if if you can't tell, it we're 
Our topic today is hooks. Oh, I actually forgot. Yes, it is, it is hooks. I remember. <laughs> I was like, where is he going with this? What is a hooky? Um, yeah. Awesome. Um, so what's what's the okay? What are we? What, what is, well, let's get into it, man. I what are, what are we doing? What's the hook for the hooks? Well, if you let me speak, I can get to the. <laughs> okay, with hooks, um, there's all kinds of hooks. There's captain hooks. There's story yes. hooks, which is the one we're yeah. going to focus on. There's fishing hooks, fishing hooks, and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, hook, line, and sinker. Yeah, that's a good hook. So, in your, we're going to focus specifically on narrative hooks because. That's pretty relevant to the yes. time. Yeah. Um, so I'll let you know now. I'm going to cast a line out the side of the train and see if I catch anything by the end oh, of the day. Oh, heck yeah, dude. Um, Sounds good, man. Yeah, it's called it's called um, train fishing, which is it's a newer thing. I'm, I don't know I'm trying if anybody's done that. I mean, the fish... It's like we either have to catch a fish who's unaware, right? Because we're going so fast. So it's like we un awaringly hook a Imagine fish or a fish is, is swimming that fast to get the food so it's like that's going to be a fast Can fish. you imagine a, that poor fish that gets caught by the <laughs> hook that's going the speed of a train <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine if that fish's life is over anyway i mean he'd have to be pretty so, tough it's actually, like it would rip it would rip it, i feel like it'd rip the fish off like because you know what i mean unless he's like super sturdy have to be like a super, ah, tough, yeah. super tough He's, guy. You had to be a mega fish, mega fish, a metro fish, a mega, mega meat fish man, mega tuna. Oh, dude, tuna's anyway. Uh, maybe a tuna's so good. We're falling off into the wrong hook territory. I don't know how we went <laughs> off so quickly, but to jump back onto the correct hook, <laughs> um, let's uh, so. Describe to me what you feel like a hook is. Um, so in terms of stories, I think a hook is um because it doesn't necessarily need to in like in terms of a book, it'd be like a like a short paragraph or a, a couple sentences. Uh, but I guess to make it applicable to everything, it'd be a small amount of content that's kind of like a teaser into what the the content's about and well it doesn't always have to be that it's it's a it's a short amount of condensed information to like get the person who reads it interested in the entire story so it's like a small amount of something that like draws them into the the whole experience um okay yeah that's that's pretty good I, i'll take that um so um here at least according to a quick google search it's pretty similar to what you mentioned a narrative hook is a, li a literary technique where someone uses some sort of opening act that keeps the reader's attention mm, okay. so yeah pretty pretty close right because <clears throat> like uh i it, when i was thinking about it, i'm like there's movie trailers which are not it's it, like that's like taking bits of the movie and like repackaging it to like get you invested but then there's like uh maybe like you start a game or you click on a youtube video and like that first little moment might be the hook but it doesn't necessarily have to be like in trailer format you know it doesn't have to be reused content all the time um it could just be something that's really engaging and interesting to get them to stick around um yeah yeah it, yeah at least so, that, yeah so that i'm um my definition good good stuff yes. um speaking of sticking around for those of you who have stuck around this far you've technically been hooked yeah so, you've been hooked you know what that means uh, you have to subscribe okay you don't have a choice you got to subscribe now and you got it look when i say subscribe it lights it up apparently go look at the subscribe button it's lit up and you're hooked we're, we're gonna click it. We're dangling that hook. Click the like we button. We sunk you at the speed of a train. You're flying straight into that like if, button, if that you, comment like, button. Most of our viewers, you're sharing it right into the person next to you. Most of our viewers, next to them. They, they if don't you're on listen. a bus, 
<laughs> Wait, what are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know, man. I I got lost in the sauce. If so you've, say if what you. <laughs> if you've listened this far, you've made it past most people who listen to our content on YouTube. So if you're on YouTube and you're this far, just drop a like. Tell us, show show us that you actually like this stuff because, like, you've made it this far, dude. You must like it, honestly. Just just give it up, Indeed. man. Give it up. We hooked you. Well, our hook worked. Whatever it was. We won the fight. <laughs> we won. What more do we what? need? <laughs> it was a hard fought battle. Uh, I had to sit down in this yeah. episode. That was pretty hard. Yeah. Well, keep, keep sitting in that seat because it's about to get even better. All right, um, bro. We've established what hooks are. There are definitely lots of good hooks. And while I do want to discuss some kind of hooks, I feel like a lot of people generally understand what makes a good hook. And there are definitely places where you can go to learn about what makes a good hook. Mm. Uh, something that relates to the story, something that foreshadows things. I mean, heck, for some reason, I guess in the first like episode of Attack on Titan, the entire story is explained in that first episode. It's just not, we just don't know it yet. Anyway, hey, well, hold on. I good. Is that, is that, I, I mean, don't tell me if that's, I, I haven't finished it yet. So I'm like, is that true? Oh, okay. Um, yes. And that is crazy. true. The, the author did say he wrote the first episode already with the ending in mind. So, oh, okay. I thought you meant like, but the whole story is like in the first episode if you look for it kind of a thing. Yes. Oh, that okay. is correct. All right. Well, that's crazy. Anyway. That's a, if that doesn't get you hooked to try Attack on Titan, I don't know what will. But we're going to try and play our own kind of hook game. I call it the hook game because I can't seem to think of any other name for it. Okay. Are you ready to play the hook game? Yes, I would love to. Is it like when Patrick okay. Starr sits on the hook? No, right. that's a very painful experience. <laughs> Not recommended. <laughs> <laughs> especially if that hook is attached to a train you just don't want to go there we're gonna yeah. play a different kind of hook game okay okay sounds good i was just curious so the rules of this game we're competing for uh almost i guess accuracy points and also we're kind of the judges of each other in this one okay. um Oh, interesting. Okay. So how this is going to go is I have a wheel with names on it of different stories. Now, whether you know the story or not, it doesn't matter. You have to give a hook. You oh. have to hook me on this story. Okay, I see. So there, are, so I, I are definitely the know there are some on here. What are the parameters for like what the hook can be? Like, is it like? 30 seconds or is it like we have to give two sentences or should we do like a I'm time? glad you asked that question yeah do you have something in mind I do okay. because I looked it up the average human life uh, not lifespan <laughs> the human <laughs> the average human attention span is uh, 8.25 seconds oh what wait that's crazy information at least yeah, it's it's crazy. It's at least as of uh, 2022, I think. Or maybe it was 2017. It was 8.25 seconds. And it, it's bound to have only gotten worse with TikTok and Reels. and uh, Sure, and yeah. Uh -huh. But we're going to go with this, this 8.25 seconds. Uh, oh unfortunately, I do have to round it down. So you have eight seconds to sell me on this story. Oh, my god! Because otherwise, okay. dude. My human attention span, it's going out the window. Okay. I'm, I'm watching this fish. It's pretty oh, exciting. I, yeah. I'm about to hook one. So you got to keep me entertained, and I got to keep you entertained, and we have eight seconds. Okay, so dude. the, the things that I want to judge on is, for one, I think you can get an accuracy point, um, and then I think you can get an actual uh, hook point. I will give oh, you okay. time to prepare. I see. I'll give you a bit of time to prepare. Well, if I already know uh, what it is, like 30 then seconds. If I already know what it is, then I don't get an accuracy point. Um, you do. Or... You do. You would. 
I, feel like... I, I have all these looked up to if we don't know what they are, I have it looked up so we okay. can okay. We can test good. it. And okay. to be to be fair, uh all fairness in all fairness, I also haven't looked up a lot of these. I just searched up chat GBT, um what's some stories that are not very well known, but like are released T V series and stuff. And it gave me a list and I didn't read anything on it. All I did was copy the name, okay, put okay. it in the wheel. And then and so you're Google gonna be competing so too. That's right? where we're at. You're gonna be you're gonna be playing this yes. with okay. So who's going first? Me or you? You are going first. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Of course this. you're going first. You're you're already sit sitting down. I I need oh, to sit down dude, while I listen I'm, to this. Um, I'm, I'm sitting down so hard, bro. I'm my my knees are coming out of the cushion. My you know, it's uh it's one of those days. All right, dude, uh, hit me with it. Hit me with okay. the <laughs> hit me with the first one. Your first story is spinning the wheel. Let's see here. <laughs> I don't know if you know. No, it was so close. You almost it it was a hair away from one piece. Oh no, dude. <laughs> Come on. Okay. All right. So okay, what did I get? the one it landed on is Pride and Prejudice. Oh okay. Um man, this is this is actually hard. I'm thinking about this. Um, so wait, so okay. I, I'm trying to make it accurate to the movie or I don't have to, I just have to, no, no, I, I you, to you don't you. have to, if you don't know what it is, then just go ham, but you, you get a point for accuracy and you get a point for getting me hooked on it. Okay. Okay. I'm ready. I should keep track of this. I, I don't have a notebook ready. Okay. I am starting a timer. Ready? Hook me. Okay, so there's the beginning of time and the the end of time, and there's a there's two guys. One's named Pride, one's named Prejudice. They're both on opposite sides of the spectrum, and they can time travel. And they have and to go time. Over. Okay, well, <laughs> that's, what that's, the? that's all I've got. <laughs> oh, this Dude, eight sec I <laughs> it's now hitting me how fast eight seconds is. This is way so harder than I thought. <laughs> Wait, okay, so okay. Wait, did it work? Are you hooked? Please tell me you're hooked. Uh, there's two guys, and one of them's pride, and one of them's prejudice. <laughs> yes. Actually, that is kind of an interesting... I, I am a big fan of, like, having personifications of, like, moral ideals. Sure. Um, I think that's kind of cool. So, like, the homunculus from... Yes, from full metal. That, that's, I, I, I really mean, that's enjoyed where my, that that's where, that's where my brain went with it. Uh, so Okay. So, as I, far as a hook point, yes, I give you a hook point. What? I'll, no I'll get, I was no way, dude. You're being nice to me, dude. That was such a crazy... Uh, okay, fine. I'll take it. I'll, um, take, I'll take my point. But accuracy point... I, I know so it's not accurate. Far <laughs> I know it's not. I, I've heard of Friday and Predators, <laughs> but I don't know what it's about. It's probably some like dark action movie or something. I, I don't know. No, it's not that at all. It's a full on rom com. Really? Sort of. It's, I don't even know if it's a rom com. It's just a romance story. Yeah. Oh. It's a it's a full romance story. Yeah. I mean I've heard uh, of it for sure. I just I have no idea what it's about. So it's made by oh, I don't want to mess this up. Who wrote Friday and Prejudice? <laughs> <laughs> this could the 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 pride and prejudice people jane austen uh jane, jane austen fans jane austen. are okay. like you do you do not a uh, jane austen fan scorned is your life it comes to an end so hey so just <laughs> i mean okay so very, i i thought this was a cool idea just before we move on i thought that i or maybe i should save it you know what i'll save it you know what Never mind. Let's go. Maybe maybe I can reuse this uh, for later. <laughs> so, <I'll>, okay. Uh, <laughs> so never mind. Okay. Next one. So wait. So you're okay. going to hook me now? Yes. So Pride and Prejudice is out. I am spinning the wheel. Uh, you might want to set an eight second timer for me. Okay. Um, no way, dude. No way. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay. So I got Narnia. 
Okay, um, I'm pulling up the timer. Uh, Narnia, dude, wait, that's a good one. Okay, um, you have eight seconds. You ready? Okay, I'm ready. Okay, ready and go. All right, um, hungry orphans go through a wardrobe to find a uh, Jesus lion, and okay, he's stop. amazing, and they fight wars. Oh. Dude, it's it's crazy how a little time eight seconds is. Um, hungry orphans yeah, it's crazy. go through a wardrobe to find a Jesus guy and fight in a war. That I feel like that's a pretty, Jesus lion. Lion, sorry, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I I feel like that does sum it up pretty well. So I'm gonna give you both points because that's honestly a Heck very yeah. interesting premise. Um, like I'm intrigued and I, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I like if, if I'm giving you the point for me personally, it's on the edge, but I feel like a lot of people would hear that and be like, dang, that sounds really interesting. So, okay. Well, but, but I'm trying to hook you. So I think did I, it hook I, you. I, it's on the line, but I, I am veering on. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. You you're being very think, very think, kind to me. Honestly, the, I don't know if he'll stay that way with how the, this is the, the wardrobe. Gonna go. The wardrobe is what so, sells me on it. Because uh, if it was like orphans fighting oh. in a war, orphans fighting with a lion, that's that doesn't really appeal to me too much. Um, but the fact that you have to go through okay. a wardrobe, so that gets me. Dude. <laughs> so say it. Appealing that, to that says about me. Classic furniture is what's gonna work win me the game here. I just like I like mystical stuff, and that that was the the aspect of it that was like non realistic. So I liked it. Oh, it's not about the furniture for you. I mean, maybe, <laughs> maybe. I just, you you don't like to look at a good wardrobe every I, now I, and again. I do, I do. I, you know, it might not be like my favorite thing, but I, <laughs> I I enjoy a good a good armoire every now and then. Okay, cool. Uh, I'll take that. Hey, I got a spin for you. Okay. Here we go. All right, let's see. You got... All right, you're going to like this one. What okay. Is... Your new one is Death Note. Oh. Okay, you ready? Yeah. All right, three, two, one. Hook me. Okay, you're a guy. You find a notebook. Any name you write in the notebook, that person dies. And time. Wow, you didn't even need to fi like you finished it's like in seven seconds. I mean, I feel, like, surely. I feel like Death Note's kind of easy. Honestly, though, it, unless you, I think it helps that you know what it is. But I, I have to say that ha that speaks volumes about the quality of the premise of the story. No, it's an amazing premise. I think that's why those that those first like two three episodes like. I mean, that first episode in general is like insane. I, I, I don't think there's anybody on the planet who wouldn't be interested. Yeah, it, like, yeah, exactly. It, and, yeah, that's how you know. I mean, good. I got to give you both points. Is not only did you accurately depict what was happening, but you hooked me in, in less time than the average human attention span. So right. dude, kudos to you. Two, two points I, on the I, board. I feel like it was you. easy though, because it's like, it, the, the, it speaks for itself, right? Like all I had to do was tell you what the show tells you in the first like minute you know so that's fair but isn't that what a hook yes, is yes yes no it, it, Therefore, pro it proves how strong that show's hook is it's an insane hook might be one of the best of all time oh be modest take your points okay fine <laughs> okay all right so i'm at three <laughs> take your two. points dang it okay um all right so okay here i go i'm spinning dude, for myself this is pretty fun this is pretty good Let's see. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> What'd you get? <laughs> What'd you get? Oh, no, no. What'd, what'd you get? What'd you, what'd you get? I got a hollow night. You got hollow night? Oh wait, no, I'm actually way I excited. got a hollow night. I'm way excited about this. But okay. I know I've never played Hollow Knight. This is great. I this is I great. Don't I don't know I, anything about this. Just for people for reference, Hollow Knight's like my favorite game of all time. Uh 
So I'm very excited about what Kai's about to say. <laughs> the pressure is on. I was hoping you would get this one. And I, not, oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, Bro, I... Let me know when... when okay, I'm... yes. I forgot uh, that I had that responsibility. Um, I don't know how I forgot already. All right. Ready? Are you ready? <laughs> yep. Uh, I'm ready. Ready, set, go. All right, it's a game so good you go play in a cave. You're you're a small man driving a screw through some bugs with it, okay, it's stop. black. It, <laughs> okay. It's black. Um, I'll be honest, guy. <laughs> um, I'll be honest. I do, I'm not interested. <laughs> And this is no. <laughs> this is what's interesting about Hollow Knight is that I'm not into bugs and I'm not into there's a lot of things on the surface of that game that don't actually appeal to me. Um it's what really hooks me about the game is like the game design and the lore and the the art style and the music and everything. So um not like, the fact that you can play it in a cave. I mean, but you can play any game in a cave, right? <laughs> Like, yeah, but this one's particularly fun to play in a cave. You well, said so. Well, it it is because it's immersive. But like, you're talking to somebody who like you were trying to hook me, as if I had never played it. Um, uh, so, that's so, fair. So that's to fair. To me, that didn't. But I might have to give you an accuracy point because the game is black. And really? It does have bugs, and you do screw them with a the little. You can kill them with a the little spear thing. I like. I I think I'm gonna give you the accuracy point because. Most of the game is a dark, like literally dark experience, and you kill bugs with a little screw. So I'm gonna give you okay. an accuracy hey, point. I'll take it. But and you can't play it in a cave. That's <laughs> also very accurate. Everything you said was true about the game. That's why I'm giving you the accuracy point. But yeah, it did not hook me. So you only get one point for that, which means we're tied. Okay. Three, three to three. <laughs> yep, we're tied. We're tied. Okay. Okay. Next round. Okay, giving your roll. Dude, I don't even know what's um, on the wheel. I don't even know what's oh, on the yes, wheel. Yes, so. yes, please. Yes. <laughs> no. Yes. No, dang it. It's right on the edge. Dang it. Okay. Oh. Uh, it was. It almost landed on Twilight, but oh, it landed no. on FNAF instead. Oh, actually, I think I would have come up with a really good premise for Twilight. Oh, uh, okay. Um, Interesting. Well, I almost want to hear that one. But you landed on FNAF, so that's what we got to go with. Okay. Um, well, because I, I don't know if you're into that kind of genre. You don't have to answer that. I'm just thinking here. Um, I ain't giving you any hints. I, I want to win. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Uh... uh... I'm giving you like 10 more seconds of prep. Okay, okay. I'm ready. Okay. Logan, hook me. Okay, you're in a Chuck E. Cheese. Robots are trying to kill you. It's a horror game, but you can't move, which is interesting. You literally have to survive without moving. You're stuck in your chair the whole time. All right, time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Why? As we're doing this, it's just crazy to me how fast eight seconds goes by. Dude, like yeah, to have it's... to hook someone in such little time, it's it's crazy to me. Dude, there's a to reason learn that. there's a reason Mr. Beast tells his whole premise and yells at the beginning of his YouTube video. Maybe we should look into that. <laughs> Maybe we those, should yell those, more. Those eight seconds Is are so what, important. What we learn from that experience. No, 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 no. In fact, he's even gone on to say that he doesn't need to yell anymore. But it's like if people just need to know this information that we're saying like, like like the fact that i can sum up the best parts of something like death note in like eight seconds it's like that that's what hooks are you need to be able to like be like this is why you should invest your time into this you know gotcha okay. yeah yeah okay for scoring um for fnaf i gotta give you an accuracy point because everything you said is is on par with with it yes um i do have to say it's hard to sell me on the horror side of fnaf because i'm not a horror 
genre of person. I don't really enjoy the horror. Right, that's why. Which thought. is interesting because I actually do enjoy FNAF, but I enjoy it for its outrageous lore, and watching people play it is hilarious. But other than that, I I have no intention to play it myself. Yeah, um, so you because that's the thing that intrigues me about the game is it's one of the first horror games where, like you're trapped in a room with things coming to get you instead of you kind of going to them. Um, so I think it's, a very, uh-huh. that's why I kind of stuck to that premise. Cause I was like, that is a very interesting, in, like it's an intrigue factor. So if someone who maybe might be into horror games or games in general might find that interesting where it's like survive, but you can't move, you know, but dang. So I only, yeah, yeah. I only get one point then. But you only get one point. No. Sorry, it's a it's a hard sell for me, though. I'll tell you that. I'll give you the benefit of that. <laughs> okay. It's a hard sell. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um. Okay. That's so right. my turn here. Yep. Spin that wheel, man. I hope it lands on something good. And then, how many things did you put on there? Uh, there's quite a few. Um, we're we're definitely not going to be able to get to them all. Uh, okay. So I got Percy Jackson. Ooh, okay. I don't. Um, I haven't. I don't know anything about Percy Jackson. So you don't know anything about no. Percy Jackson. I know that. Maybe we talked about this. Before. There's some mythology involved. I think, but that's about it. Like he's a guy. I think there's a ship. At some point. I, I really don't know anything. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you. It's a book technically series. Technically, be right that there's a ship. It's a book Wait, series. Wait, so can I even qualify series? for an accuracy point? Um. Uh, let me here. I'll just okay. No, no I'll just, just I'm gonna go respin because no. I need to. Okay, fine. Okay. Okay, I got Twilight. Okay. Okay, I think I know enough about Twilight to to know okay. what you're talking about. Right, um, are you ready? Okay. Uh no, I gotta appeal to you on this one, not not to. <laughs> I know that's what was hard is because for FNAF, I was like, I have to either be accurate or appeal to Kai. I can't do both. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You ready? Yep. Yeah, I'm ready. And go. It's a super edgy vampire battle. Vampires versus werewolves. It's war. People are glittering and bleeding and Stop. exploding in vampire bits okay <laughs> people are exploding um uh yeah you know um okay i i don't know how accurate the exploding is but everything else sounded accurate to me. Isn't there a vampire that explodes? I feel like they, I don't, if, I'm not an expert. On, them, I've think. never actually watched the movies all the way through. I've seen reviews. I've seen scenes, bits and pieces. I, it's been talked in pop culture for however long now. I just don't know if that's true or not. I'm not saying it's untrue. Okay, but everything else is, is, is accurate. Is it true? Is it true, though? Do you know? I don't particularly know if someone... Ex- I feel like there is someone that explodes, but I'm okay. It's been too long. I would since believe I, it. But I there would, is listen, a war. The fact There's that war. the fact that I am willing to accept that, the fact that I'm like this could actually be a thing in that this uh story or whatever you want to call it, this IP might actually have exploding werewolves and vampires. So I think everything else you said is true. So I, I'll give you both points because. You know, heck yeah, heck yeah. Knowing what Twilight is myself, I'm not interested. But from that description, I think va- vampires are cool. I think werewolves are cool. And them duking it out, that also sounds sick. So I'm I'm in. Okay. Uh, and awesome. technically, that is what it's about. So <laughs> I, I'll give you both points. <laughs> I, that's what I was like, because what it really is, is a super edgy romance. Yeah. Right? Super edgy and romance. And I'm like, I'm not going to spell him on this. Yeah, it's really a war between the two hot guys, uh, and and Twitter or whatever. You know? Yeah, one so. could say. I mean, is that that still something you'd be interested in or no? No, no, that would be a complete turnoff. Unless it was like a unless it was like a okay. funny. If it was a comedy, like I I could be inclined. I like comedies a lot. Uh, okay, gotcha. Well, so there are some more, but um, sound effects enter 
year up dot exe we're moving on to hard mode oh snap there's a there's another this mode. is where there is another mode i just switched on the hard setting to this bad boy the hook game is getting more difficult what do we have like two seconds now this is the second round no no it's still eight <laughs> seconds but the stuff the actual stuff on here we definitely either one of us definitely knows about it or one of us definitely doesn't oh, one or both so, of us so now don't you, know i see so is. now we're like completely in the dark i mean i i didn't know yes. anything about Pride well, and prejudice sometimes <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you still got stuff no, no, going I, I'm, on I'm there. I'm fine with this. I'm uh, fine with this. But okay, so it's uh, it's my turn, right? Yes. So what, this is this here? is hard mode. I can't remember. So right now, oh, let me see. I think you're at five, and I'm at four, five, what? five, and you're four. You're at four. I'm at five. Yeah. So it's four to five. Okay. All right. But we'll see. So for this one, it is hard mode. So I will award instead of accuracy i will award two hook points oh snap okay. so you can you can give yeah, you can this, gauge it on how hooked this... you are but we're going strictly for hook points because i'm not yes. sure you would be able no to, for sure for sure get any yeah i like this okay okay what let me spin for your first one yeah okay What's it gonna be here we go yours is <laughs> it is King Pong the animation. King Kong? No, Ping Pong. Ping Pong? Like the with the paddles? Yes. Ping with the Pong paddles. animation. Yes. Ping Pong the animation. Like it's a like a, are these movies? Or does that not matter? It's a, it's an anime. Oh, okay. Um Okay, uh, where do I even begin? Okay, I'm gonna give you 10 more seconds to prepare. Um, all right, you ready? Yes, okay, ready, set, hook me. Okay, two giant manly giga chad men duking it out like samurais on the table, but they're using ping pong paddles instead of swords, and it's, it's really funny. Uh, cut. Okay, actually, what you just described, I can only imagine, like, you know, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure yeah, Anatomy? Yeah. Yep. Just their, like, mega chin and the yeah. abs that, like, stick out. So I'm just imagining those guys, like, not even looking, but, like, complaining at each other while ping ponging super hard. I, uh, kind of off topic, have you ever watched, like, Olympic ping pong? Um, uh, maybe a little bit, yeah. It's really awesome. I mean, I've I've seen it's insane. I've seen competitive ping pong, yeah. It's it's good stuff. Okay, okay so, wait, so did, are I you have hooked? to give you. <laughs> are you hooked? I will say, I'm partially hooked. Oh, I'm partially hooked. So I get one point. Um, I will give you a hook point yes. because you mentioned, um, just like gigage sad people going really hard at ping pong. And I, I respect that. Actually, maybe, I don't know, because you mentioned the samurai, and you're right. I, you got me there. I do love samurai. <laughs> yeah. But I don't necessarily, like, I feel like this isn't necessarily an accuracy thing, but it's like, if I clicked on ping pong the animation and I saw samurai, I would kind of be put off a little bit because I was, like, expecting ping pong and not samurai. You know I'm saying right but they're using ping pong paddles yeah if they true. used ping pong paddles like samurai that's kind of interesting to me right but that's not but what it's you said. samurai using ping pong paddles to fight each other so i yeah it, i didn't quite nail it i would say so i think you're right you're close that was pretty close i i think you're stepping up your game on this on this hard okay one, so. all right okay okay well, let's see if you step up yours Step into the ring. Oh no. Give oh no. I got another got. one that you know and I don't know it. <laughs> I got Pikmin 2. Yeah. Okay. 
Pikmin 2 is also one of my all-time faves. All right, Kai, are you ready? I mean, you know um, some things about Pikmin. You're not like in complete blindness. Yeah, yeah, I know some things, but we'll see if I can actually sell it. Okay, you ready? Yes. All right, uh, ready, set, go. You're no bigger than a paperclip. In fact, you're smaller than paperclip, branded on an unknown planet with only adorable plants to help okay, fight thought... off monsters. And that monsters bit. Um, man, I this is rough because I I really like Pikmin. It's really hard because I mean that is very accurate to what you're doing. Um, if we had accuracy points, I'd give you accuracy. I feel like I have to give you two points because one of my favorite things in video games is when you're small in the big world. And you made a big emphasis on that. You're oh, small. interesting. I love any level in any game where you're like in, in a house, but you're tiny. I love that stuff. I love being tiny. And then you threw in at the end that you're fighting monsters. So have so. you, do you enjoy things like Chibi Robo? I, I know it's I, not. I, Chibi Robo. It was a game I always wanted as a kid, and I have I've played it as an adult, and I do enjoy Chibi Robo, but the narrative is kind of what uh, it, it, it's a lot more cutscene and dialogue heavy than I was expecting when I first played it as a kid. Um, mm. I feel like if it was way more gameplay focused and more about like just making more money and getting more like mm. energy in your battery and stuff, if that was like the main main focus. There wasn't the side content. I think I'd like it more, but this is a, I don't know. I, I should go back and play it again. Cause I do really enjoy Chibi Robo to answer your question. Cause you're tiny. What about the tiny. secret? Have you ever watched the secret of Arietti? It's a yeah, Studio I Ghibli film. I love that movie. And then I also watched, uh, Honey, we shrunk ourselves as a kid and Shrunk honey, we shrunk the kids. <laughs> Both of those yeah, movies uh, I thought funny. were awesome. And Pikmin was right up there being small i in pikmin 2 there's okay, there's some levels where you're literally like with like toy blocks and you can like there's like wooden tr train tracks like you would play as play with as a kid and you can like walk on them and stuff and i just i just think that stuff's so cool to me um like yeah, you, that yeah ant, it's interesting. The, the ant man scene where he's tiny fighting the guy dude yeah i love all that stuff it's really good okay okay that's good okay so we we have about time for one more round each so uh you could step it up here if i if i goof it on my last round you could take away take it away so it's it's that close okay all right i'm spinning please be one that i know please dang it i don't oh. dude i'm gonna knock this one out of the park Okay, I actually don't remember what this story is, so we're going to remove it and reroll. Oh, man, dude. <laughs> I, I, I was going to knock that one out of the park, bro. Okay, okay, here's your last one. Okay. All right, this one's actually pretty cool. I do know this one. You might know this one. You got the girl who left through time. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Um... It's, a, it's an anime movie. Okay, okay, I, I've got this. Okay, you ready? Yep. All right, Logan, hook me. Okay, one day a girl from uh, today's age accidentally goes through a portal and she's in space on a spaceship with a crew. It's a heart-wrenching story in space. Um, okay. Um, okay, actually, I it's not at all, it, it sort of is what the story is. If I were to give you accuracy <laughs> points, I would give you one. I uh, oh, would give you a yeah. half one. Oh, okay. What I will say from what you did present, you did hook me on that one. I, I was hooked. So I'll give you was, two was points. It the on space? That. Was it, was it, I said space? It's, like it's a little bit. It's a space. <laughs> yeah, you, you did. You. Did. <laughs> it's like a buzzword that you were like space and then space and space and, and space again and space. Anyway, so um, the story is about a girl who finds. Uh, Kind of a space chestnut, almost, is the best way I could explain it. And it takes her through time. She can travel time with this with this nut. Oh, and it, there's actually a reason why it's a nut. It, I mean, it's kind of weird at first, but like, there's a reason why. But sure. one thing that you did sure. sell me on 
is that it's heart wrenching. Yes, I that which was is a interesting. Word I wanted because, to say specifically. Yeah, that was a that was a buzzword that got me because I do really like deep stories. I don't necessarily enjoy heart wrenching stories, but I do love stories that have a ton of depth in them. That have there's just so much yes. emotion to unpack. Yeah, and it's it's it. not like all happy or all like it's like there's a the story has like actual weight to it and like they go through a journey of like good and bad and all that stuff. So yeah, exactly. Dude, I, I wanted to say so, heart, heart wrenching specifically. I was like, bro, heart wrenching. There's a crew. It's in oh, space. Man. Like just get Kai in there. He's like, got me all <laughs> figured yeah. out. You, you got me all I was going to say that it. regardless of what story it was. Okay. So the fact that I was somewhat accurate was crazy. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah I was okay, like, okay i'm gonna win these hook points okay so, so this is my last one there's one more round okay it's mine. i think you're gonna you're gonna take it home i don't think i can catch up at this point i don't know we'll see please please no what the okay i mean i know what this is but what is it okay um i almost got supernatural which i was actually really big into supernatural okay. but I instead i got it, just so. add water I and know, I, I, I somehow have either. to sell this I, it, it, do i need to know what this is okay no uh i mean i'll, I'll tell you what it is after what it okay. really is but i am going to try and sell you on it as, okay i'm going to try to be accurate to it as well okay i looked up it was a tv show that's all i know okay go for it uh do you have my time ready oh yeah uh ready set Go. It's Australia. Uh, three young women turn into mystical creatures and have to keep it a secret from society. And uh, Stop. it's surfing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you did not sell me at all. I am not interested no. in that. <laughs> I am not oh, interested God. in girls <laughs> keeping secrets from society. I am not interested in that. I'm sorry. No, Australia was Joe. Whatever. That's all the because for me, it, it being in Australia doesn't matter unless it's like got unless there's something important going on. Like I, I think it's cool. You like surfing? Well, I, surfing could be anywhere. You know, it's like it's, to me the fact that it was in Australia didn't yeah. even matter. Um, but Dang, now, so there's sorry. no hook. I feel like I feel like you you said some words that could hook people, but just not me. I am not interested in okay like whatever's going on there i'm like okay sounds like a, a it sounds like a disney movie chick flick that my little sister would watch or something you know i'm like i'm, I'm okay it, that's the thing it is Wait, it's, is it, a, it's like you, a disney but, but Kai, xd style you forgot that there's no accuracy points this time you should have just gone all in on me to, to try and sell me you're right ah uh, well i was trying to sell you on like the exoticness of it but it turns out like australia is not very exotic to you so well, I'm, a little it's bit. more exotic than most places i would say like like most uh modern i don't know i don't know what i'm saying like maybe like it, it's more exotic than u.s for sure but like um I, maybe i'm not into exotic stuff maybe maybe that's something about me that you didn't know so yeah i, I didn't know that okay let's tally up some of these points uh because we're we're running low on time here uh, by, I, I see the station head. I got to reel in this did I, fish. Did I clutch it um, with that last round? Let's see. Um, uh, let me tally up the points real quick. Dude, he's going to... Um, I know I was pretty ahead for the first one. but yeah, It was then... like four versus five, and then in the next round, I think I got one point. And then you got two points, and then I got two points, and then you got no points. Yeah, yeah. Dang. Okay, so with uh, as best so as I could, as hard as I tried, is that a tie game. As hard as you tried, it six. is an absolute draw. Six to six. <laughs> it's I think a draw. Uh, seven to seven. Oh. But yeah. Well, dang. Uh, how are we gonna? How are we gonna decide the? draw the tiebreaker should i flip a coin or maybe... uh, yeah flip a coin that, right. it, 
we got you got this i i have full trust that your coin flip will make me win i trust you oh okay uh heads or tails uh heads all right uh you just gotta trust me uh okay yep. um here we go oh wait hold on that was a bad one it's heads Kai wins. Yeah. <laughs> Kai, <laughs> Kai wins the episode. <laughs> no way. No. Okay. All right. Ah, uh, that uh, I feel good about that. Fulfilled. <laughs> uh, I put. Like, I every, put. Oh, everything you worked for just. Paid I put off. a surprising <laughs> amount of effort into making that game. A surprising amount of effort. Well, you don't have to but, win it to feel satisfaction um, for making it. You know, but. I guess it comes full circle. That's true. Unless and you're a winner. You then, totally earned it though, man. I you when you hooked me, you hooked me and uh you know, when when you didn't, you didn't, but you still like even with cuz I don't think I ever earned no points and yet you still you, you earned no points and you still beat me. So Well, <laughs> yeah. <That's>, uh, <laughs> Jeez. I <laughs> definitely earned no points. It's interesting. So it's like what we've i feel like we learned from that game is that a hook works really well when it works but when it doesn't it really doesn't no yeah it's it's totally true um people like you're either drawn in or you're not like it's very quick you said eight seconds it's very quick when you're on your phone like how many times have you have you clicked on a youtube short or you clicked on a youtube video or even listen to a song on spotify and you just skip it with after like three seconds you're just like nope next one like that is i've done that so many times yeah. so you, you, it really needs to make that impact really quick otherwise people might not ever listen to it or see it or make an impact on it so and maybe maybe we can take what we learned here today to you know apply it to our endeavors our creative works including this podcast you know like maybe we can yeah, indeed. Take what we've learned. And I hope you guys at home, like people that are trying to make stories, like, yeah, really think about how to take your story and make it, wrap it up in a nice little package so that when people have that eight second span, uh, they know that they want to see it, you know? So. Yeah, exactly. Um, but uh, so definitely thank you so much for watching um, or listening, I guess thank you big breach um logan i gotta confess something uh i hooked onto the next station so oh, i'm i'm about to whiplash right on oh, out of here fetch, bro. Wait, I, I, it's gonna get kind of intense it oh, no. All right. oh, oh.